Hello! So, if you watched the last video, you will notice that I said we were going to be doing some yoga poses while putting things up on the walls and I totally fucking forgot because I was just excited to have worked on a project that ended up taking less than 10 minutes but I had been telling myself that I would mess up or didn't have time to do for three months. So yeah, I got excited and then totally um, forgot about it. Also, when I went to look for the stop button, I pushed it without wanting to, so the video ended awkwardly. It happens. But we are outside and we're going to do a few yoga poses out here, um, but in the same spirit of like how you can incorporate micro moments of yoga or even just stretching and breathing into your life wherever you are. So um, we're going to be using this. What is it even? I guess it's like a ledge or sill out here, but it's going to work the same as if, let me put my phone down, um, as if you were in the like, kitchen cooking or something and had that type of counter. So um, if I am doing like cooking or laundry and things feel tense, my favorite thing to do is I have my hands up on the counter and I step back and then literally just do a forward fold, but I really pull myself like against or away from what I'm holding on to. And this helps me find more movement, whereas if I was just doing this myself, I would have to be balancing, which work is nice sometimes, but I really like being able to then find more movement in my back. And you're not able to see this because right now you're on the grill, and so the height of it isn't low enough, but I, I can show you up here, but I find some bends in my knees like this while stretching, and then really let it become it really becomes a full body stretch sensation because you can work from literally your ankles up to your fingertips. Sometimes what I'll do is if you know the yoga move of like threading the needle like this, I do something like that as well. So I will release one hand, stretch it over, and then I will put it on my outside knee and then find some side, hello, some side stretches here. I will say I learned the hard way, don't do this right next to the oven if your hair is down because I did like a head flip and put my hair in spaghetti sauce, so that was eventful. But so now we're gonna thread the other way. Again, put your hand on your outside knee. As always, you can find some movement in your neck. Really loosen that up. Release your hand. Something else that I've done is then I would lift one leg. Here, let me move up so you can see it. And then do, I believe this position usually is called pilot, but this is a variation because again, you're holding on to it. You want to make sure that your knee is not past your toe. You can put that leg down, lift the other leg. And each time you do this, you can explore with engaging different muscles. So what is this like if you tightened your calf? What does this feel like if you tightened your thighs? What is it like if you engage your core? What is it like if you ask your neck to be as light and floaty as possible and not do any of the work? Release your leg. And then after being inverted, well, it's not a full inversion, but being leaned over for that long, I then like to do more of like, I used to call them soccer stretches because everyone that I played lacrosse with played soccer and they call them soccer stretches, but really they're hip flexors of then going and then instead of having your hips back, have your hips forward. This is not good to wear sweatpants for a show, but then having your back rounded this way instead of being tucked out. Another thing that I will do as I'm doing laundry, if I'm usually doing it and I have a step back. After I fold a few things, before I pick up the basket, what I'll do is I'll take something up, probably like a shirt or a towel. I'll take it up and then, oop, I'm gonna go into chair pose to show you, but, well, you can do it in chair pose, but I call them steering wheels. I take something up and use it as a resistance band type sensation. So I pull apart and then I do quote unquote steering wheels all the way down. This will really have your shoulders burning. And for me, who sits at a computer often, I really feel a lot of tension in my shoulders and neck. And so then I'll drive down the street, which is to my knees, and I'll drive all the way back up. 
And so if you have like a weight, you can do that as well. But since I don't have weights that have handles on each side, like a, a nice fancy gym, I find that just using a towel, something thick, or if you have a resistance band, you can do that. But again, this video is about how you can incorporate some movement into the general like chore type things you do. So in that case, like if you're washing towels, something that's sturdy, I don't want you to rip like a silk blouse. So hazard, I will not be able to afford to fix your clothes. So pick something that you're okay if you like Hulk strength pulled apart. But so I have that towel and then I drive down the street to where my knees are and then I drive back up the street. And since you're pulling, remember, you're going to be pulling and creating resistance, you're going to be feeling it in your shoulders, your triceps, I'm not going to pretend to remember all my muscles, your pecs. I feel it in my obliques too, but I think that's because of how like much I'm getting all of the muscles that I can at least activate to be activated. All right, and so now you might be asking, well, what can you do for your lower body? We have done things that seem like they're a lot for over the hip up. One of my favorite things to do, and my dogs used to be really confused by it because they're like, oh, why don't you just go up the damn stairs? But as I get to, this is going to be funny to show since you're up here. I'm going to go work. When I get to stairs, why don't I can do this? Um, I'm going to take my Crocs off so I don't fling them. But when I get to stairs, what I like to do sometimes, and again, this isn't about being militant and saying every time you do any chore, you have to do this. But if I'm feeling like I need to move and I can't get to the gym, those days I'm doing stuff like this to still get movement. So I'll have, I sort of eyeball which stair I can get to like safely in the sense of not like slipping because my floors are slippery, but I'll have my leg up and I will lean forward and have this really, cause this becomes then a hip stretch for your leg that's straight. And then I will lean backwards and then flex my toe. So then you end up when you're forward stretching your leg that's down. And then when you're backwards, you're stretching your leg that's up. And then finding any movement you need. I have really tight hamstrings like always. So I can't keep my legs straight for long without there being pain. So again, forward. Oop, my toe is so out of alignment. If you do this on your porch, just watch where, because the wood slats are at the bottom, my toes are like doing weird stuff. But yeah, so I'll have my leg that's up. And forward stretches this hip out here. Yes, I'm touching my hip. Doesn't look like I'm touching my hip. Um, and then again, leaning back. And then that stretches out this leg. So I'll show you the other side. I have my leg up. Ooh, my socks. Actually, you know what it is? So my hips aren't really facing forward. I have like some hip things going on. So my toes look like they're sideways, but my knees forward. You didn't ask that. Now you know. So again, when this leg is up, if I'm back, I'm pointing my toes up like little flowers are blooming up. Chum, chum, chum. Um, and then I'm stretching this leg. And you can see this hamstring's a little looser because I'm able to keep my legs straight and now when I lean forward now I'm doing a hip flexion in this hip so hip flexion and then the opposite leg is being stretched hip flexion leg is being stretched so if you are doing that and then I always have to do some like I don't know this is another thing that gets categorized into old athlete stretches I'm sure there's a name for it um, to, yeah, just release the tension in my hips. Um, if you are doing that on wood floors, like if I was doing that, I would keep my Crocs bam, bam, on. Um, <laughs> my husband, come out here, he's cute. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Um, but if I'm doing that on the stairs, I keep Crocs on so I don't slide as much. Um, if you have carpet, you have less of an issue. But know your body, know your limits, and also take whatever safety precautions possible. That means you're putting shoes on just to stretch on your stairs. Crazier shit has happened. So, um, thanks for tuning into the second part of the first video, since I forgot to include it in the first video. Um, oh, Honey's here. Come here. This is Honey, if you haven't seen the other videos. I'm cute. Oh, and now Teddy wants to be cute. Come here, Teddy. Oh, here, Teddy. Oh, you didn't jump on oh. Oh, see, he can jump all the way. He can jump all the way up. There's this Teddy, and I heard Hershey. Oh, here's Hershey. She's elusive. She likes to run away from cameras. This is Hershey. Oh my gosh, I just got such big puppy hearts. Okay. Thank you. You have a razzle dazzle day. 
I'm going to get a beverage, most likely of the H2O sort.